Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, I, uh, I went and added in all the other nutritional values uh, for uh, the food contents that we are uh, looking for. For example, now let's say I add in granola. I keep adding granola because I, I don't know. <laughs> it's easier to remember probably. So it's displaying all the uh, nutritional values for granola here as well. So I, I hope you have added uh, them in as well. Too. all right so now for this uh, part of the uh, tutorial we are going to fix uh, uh, the exercise widget all right so basically what we're going to do is uh, we're going to calculate uh, the uh, time required to burn these uh, number of calories all right by using simple formulas inside the Django template all right so uh, to calculate that what I've done is uh, I've googled and uh, I've found these website that shows you how much calorie you can burn in one hour and this is for a person who weighs around 80 kilos on an average so it tells you how many uh, calories you'll burn uh, for a running pace of 12 minutes per kilometer all right so that's for uh, calories burned during jogging and then you have calories burned during walking it's the same the parameters are the same except we are that uh, focusing on this calories burned here and this is for yoga uh, so uh, focus on the same weight again 80 kilos uh, 60 minutes of yoga and there are different kinds of yogas in here so i'm going to select hatha yoga for this which is 223 uh, calories burned per hour all right then this calories burned is for uh, for gym training so uh, for a person weighing 80 kilograms working out for 60 minutes uh, for weightlifting for vigorous is 484 uh, calories burned all right so we have our calculations ready all we need to do is that uh, we're going to take hold of this average and uh, divide and multiply that within the Django template itself all right so let's go back to our uh, Django template dot html all right uh, so uh, let's go to our exercise widget and uh, we need to change this to burn 100 calories so this has to be uh, same as uh, api is zero calories here so let's copy that control c and paste that in here uh, now to do calculations in django you need something called as uh, um, math filters all right so um, what math filters uh, does is that it helps us uh, do simple calculation inside Django where it allows you to divide and multiply uh, with a given set of numbers. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of my terminal. I'm going to exit my server control. All right. And I'm going to type in uh, pip install Django dash math filters all right so it's installed a module called as math filters which allows us to uh, make simple math calculations in, within the django template uh, what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go uh, to the top of my html file and i'm going to say open up curly braces add in two percentage signs and say low uh, math filters all right now let's go ahead and uh, run our server we're going to get an error because we need to uh, mention this in the installed apps in the settings but anyways uh, just for the sake of it let's go back hit refresh All right so what it's saying is we need to install the math filters in the settings because django is not able to identify this module so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, settings file. After counter, I'm going to open the quotes and add math filters. And add in a comma just in case. All right, so that should fix things up. All right, so that's fixed. All right, so uh, getting back, uh, let's work on our uh, exercise widget. Right. So what I'm going to do is uh, 
we have to calculate the average of uh, we have to get the calories first and then divide it by uh, number of calories you would burn in an hour for a person weighing 80 kilos and multiply that by uh, 60 i'm not wrong uh, but uh, anyways the whole point of this uh, project is that uh, uh, we are able to make this calculation and throw out a rough uh, number on it. so it's not something that is scientifically proven so uh, this is just for the purpose of learning uh, that's what we are doing all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy api uh, zero dot calories from top control c all right and i'm going to paste it here where it says 20. all right now after calories i'm going to open up a pipe so pipe is looks like this so it's just next to your enter key all right then i'm going to say div which is for divide and colon all right 378 i'm not it's not 378 so we'll have to pick the average up from here uh, that is 229 for jogging all right so let's pick up uh, 229 and then what i want to do is i'm gonna uh, add another pipe here next to 229 and multiply that uh, colon by 60 right now if i go back to my django uh, home.html on the server and hit refresh right let's say that i have to we'll have to jog for 124.63 some minutes all right so we're going to format this as well uh, that's in the later stage so we'll fix everything else all right uh, for power yoga gym workout and go for a brisk walk i'm going to do power yoga now so let's go to uh, yoga calories burned calculator so it says 223 all right so uh, let's do that let's come back to our uh, i'm, I'm going to copy this again all right and when it says 20 for power yoga i'm going to replace that okay api zero calories and uh, how much was it 23 all right i'm going to put in 223 i'm going to uh, leave the rest of it as it is all right uh control c and i'm going to come back and go to the gym workout on 20 paste it and let's see uh gym workout was 484 calories per hour so let's add in 483 calories sorry uh, all right then we have go for a brisk walk so how many how much calories does brisk walking for in an hour for a person weighing 80 kilos is 294 copy that right uh it's 294 right okay so i'm gonna copy that from here again control c i'm gonna paste that in here control v 94 right so let's come back to a food calorie finder and hit refresh nice so we have a of how this uh, how this looks now all right next is uh, we would like to format this all right so that a uh, human can read it because right now there are too many decimals here and we want to uh, avoid that all right uh, and make it into a proper uh, readable format so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my uh, html file and uh, next to load math filters i'm going to type in uh, Early braces, percentage sign, load, humanize. All right. And then what I'm going to do is uh, let's see what happens. Uh, 
Let's come back in and refresh. It won't because uh, it does not recognize human eyes. So for that, what we need to do is we need to go to our settings. And we need to tell Django that we are loading uh, this filter uh, on our HTML page. All right, so we're going to copy this. All right, uh, Django called uh, static file. I'm going to hit enter, paste it again. And I'm going to mention, uh, I'm going to remove static files. I'm going to mention human eyes. All right, so looks like that's fixed. Continue. All right, so that's working. Uh, all right, so now what I'm going to do is uh, let's format these numbers, right? So let's come back to our exercise widget. I don't know. I keep calling it a widget, or uh, should I say exercise section? Is uh, you get the point. Uh, so what I'm going to do is after sixty, all right, I'm going to say I'm going to put in a pipe again. Okay, and I'm going to say float F O R M A T float format hyphen zero. All right, so if you come back and have a look, it refresh. All right, so it's removed all the decimals and has only given us uh, numbers here, which is uh, quite human readable now. All right, you don't have to go through all those decimals. All right, uh, which in itself it's uh, it's good. All right, so uh, it's more readable now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this with the pipe, float format zero, control C. I'm come back here to my power yoga, next to sixty, paste that in. I'm going to go to gym workout next to sixty, paste that in. If you come back to my go for a brisk walk next to sixty, paste that in. I'm going to save it, come back to my browser, hit refresh. There you go. Quite nice and readable now. All right. Also, let's remove this off. Uh, we, we don't want this API uh, to be uh, displayed again because we have everything that we need. Oh, and I wanted to also change something else. Uh, it's that uh, the first letter of granola needs to be caps so this can be achieved within django itself uh, so what i'm going to do is uh, next to the name here all right i'm going to add in a pipe again and i'm going to say cap first so what cap first will do is uh, it's going to capitalize the first alphabet of granola right so if I type uh, chicken here, right, it's going to be in caps. Also, uh, yes, let's go and remove the API from here. We don't need that. We already have all the details that we want. We fill that in. All right, guys. So we're almost there. All right. Uh, and if you have come so far, uh, it's a big achievement by itself because. Uh, uh, we are now uh, learning to fetch details from an external website. We're parsing the, uh, uh, the JSON files, which has been, uh, you know, fetched through an API request. We're putting that inside a Django template. And congratulations. I mean, you need to congratulate yourself if you have, you know, uh, come till here and you have inserted all the values in, in and you have set up uh, the Django project. All right, so uh, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's a good achievement. It's time to pat yourself on your back. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is, uh, you know, add in this conditional uh, condition for this image, uh, add in conditions uh, for this particular alerts. Uh, it won't be a long video. We are almost done with there. All right, we have working app now. So let's just sort it out in the next video. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video then.